One of the hottest topics right now in the world of influencers is definitely the drama between Tati Westbrook and James Charles. I'm almost certain everyone and their mother has heard about this scandal, but if for some reason you haven't, here's a quick rundown. Tati was basically a mentor to beauty guru and YouTuber James Charles. And when he recently took to Instagram advertising a product from one of Tati's so-called competitors, she was pissed. Although James deleted his post and posted an apology, Tati posted a video on her Instagram exposing some dirty little secrets about James, which caused a ton of fans to turn on him. This resulted in him losing about 3 million YouTube subscribers, which is record breaking. There are two sides to every story and there is definitely way more to the situation than that. However, today we're going to be focusing less on this drama and more on Tati and her looks. Tati is a beauty guru and YouTuber who was 37 years old at the time of this recording. Her Instagram account has 3.1 million followers at the moment and she's considered to be one of the first beauty influencers. Tati also has a brand called Halo Beauty Inc. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. We're gonna talk about Tati's look, body, and any cosmetic surgery and more. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Trisha Paytas and Kendall Jenner and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with Tati's face. So for someone in their late 30s, I think that Tati looks amazing. Back in 2015, Tati answered a Q&A in one of her videos addressing the topic of plastic surgery, stating that a lot of her followers ask her about this. Here she claimed that she's never done any invasive plastic surgery, as in any that she had to go under for. I feel like go for it, do what you wanna do. I have never had a nose job, a boob job. I've never done anything where I've had to be put under. So in 2015, she claims no nose job, boob job, or anything of the sort. There aren't many old photos of Tati that I could find, but looking at one from when she was a kid, her nose and features generally do look the same. Tati does confess in the same video that she gets lip injections. I do wanna share with you guys, um, the big lipped elephant in the room. I do occasionally get my lips injected. Sometimes you guys notice, sometimes you do not. I can always respect an influencer who's honest because it doesn't give fans the wrong impression and shows that they aren't afraid to admit they wanted to make some changes in terms of their looks. Looking at Tati's lips now, they're still looking full, so I'm sure she probably still gets them filled from time to time. In some videos, fans were saying that her eyes look different or other parts of her face have changed. In that comparison though, I think she just has no makeup on in one and maybe she's gotten Botox as well. I don't think she looks all that different aside from more makeup and looking smoother. Tati has been open about what she does get done, which I mentioned, and she gets Botox as well. In 2017, she even posted a video of her going to get Botox, so I really don't think it gets more honest than that. In the video, we can see that she gets some to smooth out the forehead. They also talk about getting Botox in the neck bands that acts as a mini neck lift. And Tati went ahead and got that done as well, although it was her first time trying it. And I uh, have to say, this was the first time that I got Botox in my neck. I only got 15 units and I really love it. I feel like it relaxed a lot of this crazy tension that I have in my neck. Clearly there are different reasons why people get Botox too, and sometimes they aren't always for vanity. Either way, it doesn't seem that Tati looks any different since she recorded these videos, so I still don't think she has gotten anything drastic done. I also don't think it's a big deal that she gets fillers and Botox. Let's move on to Tati's body. First of all, as I mentioned before, Tati has denied getting any intense plastic surgeries. Looking at some pics though, I find it hard to believe that she hasn't had a boob job. Tati doesn't seem to post too much content where she's showing off her body, so it's hard to tell. But in some of these bikini pics, her boobs look way too perfect not to be implants. I could be wrong since Tati hasn't admitted it, but it's definitely a possibility. Tati's body looks great from what I've seen and that she's in good shape. She's opened up in past vlogs about her weight before too, and that she struggled as well. A lot of you guys are saying that I'm pregnant and I've gained weight. I would like to clear this up immediately and let you guys know, yes, I have gained weight. When I started YouTube, I was super thin. My metabolism was just like, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. like I could not put on weight. In a video from 2012, she opened up about when she was younger and shared photos, showing that she was heavier back then and really not so happy with herself growing up. Tati definitely was bigger than now, and you can tell she worked hard to be healthier and lose weight. 
Tati also shared in this video the things that helped her to get into shape. Her main tips were to cut out fast food completely, watch what you're drinking and stay hydrated, so mainly drink water, try to cut out processed food and white starches, and find healthy foods that you actually like to eat. Although this video was like seven years ago, I think it's still relevant. These days, Tati looks like she's thin, healthy, and in great shape. Looking at Tati's hair and makeup, she almost always looks glam. It makes sense considering she's a beauty guru and loves makeup, but she still seems to have a consistent look that she's kept over the years. As far as I can tell, Tati has had long dark hair for a while. She's confessed that her hair isn't real though and that she wears extensions. What else? I wear fake eyelashes too, and my hair is fake. She's tweeted quite a bit in the past about getting extensions done. I like Tati's hair extensions and think they blend well and look natural. Without makeup, Tati still looks pretty. She's definitely a pro at applying makeup considering it's essentially what she's known for. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking about Kylie Cosmetics, which is probably going to get me in a lot of trouble in the comment section, but I'm doing it anyway. It's easy to mistake one for the other, so read closely, pay attention. So let's do the shoulder test. These are just like very in your face, dripping in glow. Tati's been doing tutorials for years and she's even reflected back on her oldest videos and reacted. I haven't watched this in years, so maybe this is not the best idea, but you know what, three, two, one, let's just go there and do a reaction video. This is the very first one, guys. Deep breaths, it's really cringy, super embarrassing. My roots look horrible, my skin looks horrible. I talk really slow, okay. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, Tatiana, the glam life guru. Ooh, look at that shine. Although Tati loves everything makeup and really transforming her look with it, she also believes that practicing good skincare inside and out is extremely important for looking flawless. I couldn't agree more. Drinking a lot of water and having a consistent skincare routine is something you can't just replace with putting on makeup. So although Tati has been around for quite some time now in the YouTube and influencer world, she's really seemed to become relevant again due to this James Charles drama. I'm really not sure what's gonna become of this situation, but Tati certainly has made herself the center of attention for the time being. Besides all of that, Tati looks a lot younger than someone in her late 30s. Just focusing on Tati's look over the years, she seems to have stayed pretty consistent with only some minor changes. She's gotten a lot more confident and sure of herself as she matured compared to when she was young. By being open with her fans about work she's had done, it also makes her more relatable. However, there are a few things she's denied getting done that I'm not so sure about, but who knows. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you wanna talk more about Tati's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.